Hey guys, if you watch my channel at all, then you probably know that I'm into electric bikes. And one of the challenges with electric bikes is batteries. And batteries have come quite a long way in the last few years. Uh, lithium ion batteries are much more common than they used to be, and they can provide a lot of power. And I've tried a lot of different ones. This is a, uh, gosh, this is one that they use in the self-balanced in scooters. It's a uh, 37 volt, two parallel. Uh, the challenge with this battery is that it can't provide much current. And so typically a, a you know, a thousand watt bike at 36 volts might be putting around 30 amps. And that's a lot of current for this. And the, the, the nickel strip right here is pretty thin. So I've really worked on building my own batteries, such as this one. This is a 13 series, two parallel. Um, I forget what cells it has. Oh yeah, this has um, Samsung cells in this, the uh, 25R cells. So this is pretty powerful. But the, the biggest challenge really has been finding a way to, to mount the cells. And so, Recently, I picked up a 3D printer and I started to mess with different designs and the idea here was to be able to put cells together um, but with a gap because I really don't want the cells to touch. Now this, this is a few versions in but um, as you can see, it kind of printed a little funny um, and I kept kept revising it and I got to this point where I could actually put a bolt right down the middle but this tower actually isn't very strong um, anyway so I, I kept messing with this this is about as far as I got the idea being that you could build a big one of these grids in fact I have one to show you so here's a here's a big one you see you can just pop the cells in like this and the idea was that these um, these towers would link the two different sides together. So you'd have this mesh and then one on top. You'd link them together and then you would weld all of the uh, batteries together. Now, that's pretty decent. But um, I actually came up with a new design. And that is... This. So this is my new battery. It is a 13 series, five parallel. And it's made up from these two 3D printed plastic pieces, which has um, the holes in there for the cells to sit in, um, nice and tight together where they're parallel, but with a gap, a gap for the series connection. And it also has these holes that I'm going to use to put a, put a bolt through to kind of tighten the sandwich. And so beyond this, my plan is to build a case to go around it and then hopefully build some kind of mounting mechanism. Um, it's pretty big, so it's probably going to have to go on a rack on the back and... You know, it's actually pretty heavy. Kind of forget how heavy these things are. So yeah. So once you've sandwiched the two sides together, the idea is that you would then add the nickel, um, nickel strips to join the parallel strings together on each side. Um, and then what I'm doing is actually adding some copper, solid copper wire to help carry the current. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because compared to copper, this nickel strip is pretty high resistance. And um, for a pack that's going to carry probably around 30 amps, I'd really like it to be able to do that without too much of a volt drop. Another advantage to this is that I can um, add a fan to the end. And because there's gaps, I should be able to cool these cells pretty sufficiently. I thought I'd give you a quick shot of the 3D printer as well.
And here's the software that I'm using. This Autodesk 123D design. Um, this is actually a free Autodesk product. And it's not too tough to use. Here you can see the actual um, object that I designed. So I build it in here and then I export it as an STL file. And I'm able to print things um, using the MakerBot software. And this is actually a cover for the battery that, uh, that I haven't shown you guys yet. But um, this will cover all of the um, copper wire and everything. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, once I get further with this, I will post another video. See ya.